My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I think we have one of the nicest 55 Bel Airs I've ever seen. And trust me, I've seen a lot of them. I say that because it is rotisserie restored. Every nut and bolt body off the frame. We got all the documentation right here. And it is also loaded up with options, including some very tastefully added uh, uh, options were added to the car. It's upgraded with a power four-wheel disc brake system, radial tires, power steering, air conditioning, a tilt column, uh, retro stereo. All of it was done so neatly it looks like it belongs there. Visit volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs and study all the pictures top to bottom. And that's where you'll find the price on this car. Not only on this one, we do have a few hundred collector cars. They're all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon, and that way you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin in this amazing 55 Bel Air. So yeah, according to the VIN number, it is a genuine V8 Bel Air hardtop built in California. I uh, lived in California, Arizona most of its life. It was restored around, the restoration was finished around 2009 in Missouri, according to all the receipts that we've got there. They took the body off the frame, like I said. The whole underside of the body is just immaculate metal. The braces, rockers, floors, all that's clean metal. And it was repainted the red oxide primer like it would have left the factory. The frame and the rear end housing and a lot of the chassis components uh, were powder coated. The complete suspension and steering completely rebuilt. Front and back, new springs, bushings, ball joints, uh, center link, all those parts were rebuilt, replaced, new bushings. You look up at the motor, it's still clean, Chevy orange, the starter looks new. The power glide transmission looks new and it's completely rebuilt to have the receipt. Uh, the rear end was powder coated, so obviously it was completely apart. So I'm sure that was rebuilt, new bearings, whatever it needed. The brake system is completely upgraded. Like I said, it has disc brakes at all four wheels and has a whole new uh, emergency brake assembly. Uh, the lines, the hoses, all that's new, of course as a new exhaust system, dual exhaust all the way out the back with the correct stainless tips. It does have Flowmaster muffler, so it has a little more of a rumble to it. Uh, fuel systems completely replaced, the tank, the straps, the lines, the sending unit, that's all new. Uh, body was reattached to the frame using all new body bushings. And uh, yeah, I think that sums up the bottom of it, but there's pictures on our website. The body, it, it, it's amazing. It, it's got to be the nicest body I've ever seen. Uh, I'm sure over the years I've had others that compare to it, but this thing is really nice. And what really impresses me are the gaps. The gaps are precise, square and flush. Everything is smooth. This trunk fits beautifully. So many times down here, these corners hit. You slam the trunk. I always see big chunks of paint and and uh, body filler and all sorts of stuff there. But this trunk lines up real nicely. Everything is square and flush. And it is laser straight. I mean, everywhere. It's a mirror. This paint is like glass. I did not find a crack, a blister, a flaw. I'm not saying I didn't miss one, but I looked and I did not find anything. It is like looking into a mirror. That term gets used. I use that term a lot, but I really mean it on this one. And the hood fits real nice, especially up here. For some reason, they never fit right here. They never do. This one fits really well. Uh, gypsy red, shoreline beige. That's the signature colors for a 55 Chevy. That's what's on the trim tag on the cowl. Every piece of chrome and trim is new or restored. You know, the bird, the emblem, the grill, the bumper guards, 
These are one-piece California bumpers. There's no seam. They're one, one solid bumper, but all of it has T3 headlights, the lenses, all the stainless moldings, the uh, correct antenna, even the bases of the wipers. A lot of times those are pitted. All this stainless trim. The little flipper doors have been rebuilt. Dual mirrors. has the fingernail guards. Everything is just spotless. It's all pristine chrome and trim. All new glass all the way around. I rolled each window up. They're all crystal clear. New glass. New lenses. has optional reverse light. There's a little V8 emblem there. Here's the stainless exhaust tips I was talking about. They have some reproduction window sticker attached to the window. The windows roll up smooth, fit real nice. The rims are repainted. They match the car. Uh, it has radial white wall tires. Uh, there's a receipt in there. It's just under 500 bucks for all new reproduction hubcaps. So outside the car, like new. Probably better than new. It probably wasn't this uh, smooth and shiny when it was new. The interior, just as amazing. Uh, the seats are all rebuilt, new cushion. You sit on it, it feels like a brand new seat. Not a wrinkle in the upholstery. Uh, new carpet, reproduction floor mats, all new reproduction door panels, all new window cranks and handles. Up above it has the chrome ribs because it's a Bel Air. So the headliner, the visors are restored. New mirror. I ain't gonna open the hood yet. I got so much more to say about the inside. They did add uh, red seat belts front and back. Retro stereo fits right in the dash. Has quartz movement in the clock. The air conditioning is vintage air. They use the original uh, controller. It looks like the original controls, but it's all electric. There's no cables. And the two chrome vents coming out of the dash, that just looks just like the factory air would have been in 55. You look up under the dash, everything's restored. All new wiring front to back, and it has an upgraded uh, fuse panel with the push-in fuses. Look at the door jams. All the latches, the hood latches, door latches, trunk latch are all new. Sill plates, every weather strip, window seal, all of that's new. When I say new, I mean new when they restored the car. It's about 1,400 miles on it since it's been done. In here, there's an extra carburetor. There's the two cans of paint, leftover paint from when they painted the car. But inside this trunk compartment, it's as smooth and shiny as this. You lift the mat, it's immaculate. It's all smooth, shiny metal. The rear seat divider, the little insulators, the weather strip, the decal, the rubber mat are all reproduction, all like new. It has a tilt column. It's all painted to match. This is a reproduction steering wheel, but it's a little smaller. It just makes it easier to get in and out. The old ones were big because you needed it to steer. This is power steering, so you can get away with the smaller wheel. The entire dash, all the trim, the knobs, the lenses, the gauges, uh, the, the headlight dimmer switch, the pedals, everything is new. The metal inside the car is painted just as nice as this. It's like a red mirror on the dash. So it has an original 265 V8 motor. It's been rebuilt, a restored two barrel carb. It's got the glass bowl filter, the correct manifolds, air cleaner, the Chevrolet script valve covers, the heat riser tube going to the choke, uh, all new distributor, coil, wires, it uh, has the optional oil filter. And that always cracks me up that an oil filter was an option back then. And you might have seen this little console sitting on the seat. It literally you know, just sits there. It's, it's nice to have an armrest and a couple cup holders. Getting back to the trunk. Uh, the spare, never been used. Has the nubs on the tread. The rim is painted. The jack is all restored. It's like new in here, new wiring front to back. It does have a soft tint on the glass. Under the dash lights work, the headliner lights work. And again, all the metal trim, just everything, not only is new, but it all fits nice. Getting back to the motor compartment, uh, they did away with the generator and now has an alternator. 
the electric wipers, there was an option. It's all restored, new hinges, everything in here looks new, down to the little clips and clamps and brackets. Uh, they got a reproduction Delco battery. It's not just one of those covers on top, that's an actual battery. Radiator, the horns look brand new. The hood latch is new, cadmium plated. Uh, power brake system with a dual reservoir master cylinder, the more modern power steering system, vintage air and heat, uh, just spotless in here. Reproduction hose clamps. So I guess it's that time of the video. We're going to start it up for you. My father was just walking by right before we started, and I pointed in here. I said, I think this is one of the nicest 55 Chevys I've ever seen. So I really mean it when I say that. I can see the instrument panel lights up. There was a receipt for a quartz movement clock, but it's been set at 5 o'clock since... Uh, since I started, it hasn't moved, so the clock might not be working. Clock's right twice a day. The motor's just running smooth as can be. There's not a tick, not a noise coming from this motor at all. Quiet as a mouse in slippers. Under here is painted so nice, and everything fits so nice. It just shuts spot on. So do the doors and the trunk. There's barely any effort at all. Click shut. Idle will come down a little bit more once it warms up. This car is amazing. It, they did such a great job of keeping the old vintage appeal, but yet they've upgraded it in a way that makes it much more safe, more reliable, more comfortable to drive. You have reliable vintage air conditioning, you have four-wheel disc brakes, power steering, seat belts, and yet it looks like it's a brand new 55 Chevy. Go to volocars.com, plenty of ways to contact the salesman. I just gave you my impression of this car. If you have specific concerns or questions, please ask them. They'd be happy to answer. And they'd also help you with the financing and delivery and paperwork. They can make it real easy for you. You can find them at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon and you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.